Welcome to the Big Room here at the Alternative Station. I'm Brian Phillips. They uh, have a wonderful record called The Big Roar, which does indeed roar. I like it loud. I was just playing it again this morning, very loud. But we're going to reinterpret that material right now a little more uh, plaintively. And then tonight, you can go to the Newport Music Hall and see the Joy Formidable live. It's a low-do show. Still some tickets available. We highly recommend you come out and see us. Ladies and gentlemen, the Joy Formidable. Thank you very much. Ooh, thank you. Nice to be here. Yeah, great to be back. Okay, we good to go? I'm, I'm ready. This one's called <laughs> The Greatest Light is the Greatest Shade.
Thank you. Thank you. Lovely. Joy Formidable here at the Newport tonight, the big roar. So that was called The Greatest Light is the Greatest Shade. Can I, can I uh, infer meaning on that title and then you'll tell me I'm wrong? That's right. Yeah, that it, the great. best things in life are th things that you don't notice right away. How about that? No? <laughs> That's pretty good. It's a good effort. Five no. out of ten. Failure? <laughs> can you tell me what it means or is it a mystery? So I don't mind making a, 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 a jack ball out of myself in public. So go ahead and tell me what the song means then. Oh, it means so many different things. You know, I, d I don't think one of our songs just means one thing All or right. one situation. But it, I mean, there's definitely a, a feeling or a tone in that sense that sometimes the people that you really love don't turn out to be the people you thought they were. So I had it exactly <laughs> the polar opposite then, pretty much. <laughs> One out of ten. <laughs> it's all right. That's fine. Well, th there's we're all friends here. So yeah, <laughs> we're all friends. We're friendly. Now, there, in listening to the record, listening to your music, there are lots of layers, not only lyrically, but also the sound is so rich. Well, where does it start? Like, hey, I've got a cool sound, or is it I've got a melody in my head? Uh, wh where did you start when you were putting together this band and what you wanted it to sound like? What was the first thing that you tackled? Uh, we didn't really have any preconceptions. That was what was great about it. You know, we kind of we had a pretty rough time. We were living in Manchester. Um, we in a, like a previous guys that we weren't really happy with, and we kind of escaped back to North Wales, uh, our roots. You know, and kind of got back into the whole just joy of it all again. You know, music should all be. You know, it's it's a, an absolute fucking pleasure, and that's um, we forgot that, and uh, I suppose that was the start of this band we just kind of lost ourselves and we didn't really think right let's go for a certain sound i mean to us great artists have always been very dynamic they can put their hand to anything you know um as long as it's meaningful that was the thing for us we had to get back to sort of writing something that meant something to us again and you know every lyric on the album as we always say uh, means means something every single one you know um so that's the that's the core of it all in terms of the sound i think um Yes, I'd like to think that we're capable, like I'm saying, um, of doing anything really. I mean, if you look at the whole back catalogue of what we've done up until now, even though we're quite new to the to the states, is um, you know we've we've already grown and we want to continue to grow. I, we want to you know develop. So to us, I don't really know what our sound is. I only know, you know, that we have to have conviction. You know. Well, I'll tell you what it it sounds like to me is that you've raided my record collection. <laughs> and sort of taking bits and pieces there. It, it just really, as a whole, very appealing to me personally. So yeah. what, for whatever that means to anyone else, if you like just big hooks and, and uh, a gorgeous sound, the big roar is uh, definitely for you. And it's for Dave Grohl, too. It's not just me. <laughs> Dave Grohl is a big fan. I understand that uh, he's become quite a supporter, hasn't he? Absolutely. Well, you know, it's and he's in the best possible way, in the way that you always hope that you know people that you admire will discover your record it's not like you know somebody in our team was like please listen to this yeah, yeah. he he heard it on the radio and and he liked it so it, you know it's very heartwarming that it, yeah as he told the story he heard that he heard the the music on the radio and he didn't know what it was and the dj didn't say what it was yeah. and he sang it to himself repeatedly until he got to a record store i think is how it went so yeah. he could oh, find me this so uh, and then you ended up playing with them in Chicago at Lollapalooza the weekend, right? We did, yes. Yeah. yeah, it was a great introduction to the forthcoming tour. Already, I mean, you know, we've we've been asked, asked obviously a lot about this recently, and you know, we, we don't mind talking about it because they're seriously very nice guys, you know, and um, that ethic is something that we've always wanted to carry. You know, for someone who's achieved so much and still just basically be a fan of music, yeah, I like that band. Let's bring them on tour. You know, that's the way we've always worked and. You know, like I say, for someone to achieve so much and still have a very grounded kind of outlook on things is it means a lot to us. So we're yeah, gonna, we're gonna have fun on that tour. It's gonna be great. Uh, yeah, I've heard. <laughs> yeah, you will have fun on many oh, different yeah. levels in the Foo Fighters tour. Well, congratulations on that. Let's hear another song. We'll chat a little bit more. The Joy Formidable here in the Big Room. Okay, okay. this is a little bit of a mellower version of Austere. Your ship to send off 
the joy formidable in the big room. You know what I like? You guys smile while you play. It looks like you're having fun and you enjoy each other's company. It's all a oh, big yeah. act. I'm yeah. just laughing. You, so nice. Rijin, I, every single time we play that song, I just can't help getting hysteria at how red Rijin goes. I don't Those understand are high it. Notes, man. You go yeah. very red every time we play that. <laughs> it, it brings me it brings me a great deal of amusement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good song for clearing up the sinuses. <laughs> oh, there you go. Outstanding. The big roar, the name of the album, and uh, Newport Music Hall tonight for our low dose show, and soon on on the road with the Foo Fighters. You were you mentioned Wales, where you're from. Are yeah. you from a town called M- Mold? I know it, it sounds a bit prettier in Welsh. It's called Urwithgrig. Now, how do you say it? Where are you from? Do you say it differently so it doesn't sound like mold? No, no we it say is mold. M O L D. Yeah. Is, is that right how you spell. Um, yeah, fungus. Yeah. Yeah, because the Green way we spell it is M O U L D. But this yeah. is. You, you actually spell M O L D for fungus. Right. Fung- yeah. Well, in, uh, yeah. In, in, in well, we're lazy in, Americans. Sorry, yeah. Yeah. So, every time we can throw it. No, but I see it sounds hilarious, obviously. Yeah, we're yeah. from a place called Fungus. Yeah. yeah. It sounds great. So, what's it like? It's a pretty sleepy town, um, really beautiful, you know, we, we don't always get good weather, but very green. We're, I mean, actually, when we were doing the early demos for this band, you know, there was uh, obviously a lot of time just locking ourselves away, uh, experimenting, writing, but in between we were going out into the hills and having long walks. It's a, it's a really beautiful place, um, but kind of a strange, pla- strange place to grow up, wasn't it, because there wasn't really much musically going on you know it's like uh, we had this one club down the road and that was the only place that had touring bands coming through and that closed down um so yeah we were i suppose in some ways it was good we were thirsty and there was there wasn't really many references so you kind of had to if you were interested and you wanted to get a band together there was you know you were free there wasn't really a scene so you were kind of like you're locked away to do your own thing you know and that's how we've always felt we've lived in various places but we've always felt like We've been in a bubble, and um, we wouldn't change it because I think, you know, we've concentrated on what we want to say, you know? And uh, so uh, since you don't have any place to play, you just practice a lot. Yeah. And that yeah, makes you a good. Lot, and a lot of shows. I mean, that's the fabric of this band, really, just yeah. getting on the road. And but be, I mean, home almost feels like it's the van, you know? I mean, oh, we're that based is in depressing. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> our new home. <laughs> well, being on the road, anyway. No. I mean, uh, no, it's, it's all good. It's we, I mean, we, we really like touring. I yeah, well, I, I read that one of the things you like to do, Ritzy, when you're out on the road is you like to go on this endless search for cool vintage clothes and books and things like that. What's your coolest vintage clothing find uh, on tour? Can you think I, of I one thing? Of, I, haven't, I haven't found anything on this tour. Really? Um, we seem to have time. found a lot of inf- we seem to have found a lot of inflatable animals on this tour. Yeah, inflatable keep, animals. People, people keep, keep on giving bringing us inflatable, inflatable things. Yeah, well, we, we got an inflatable blow up doll, which I suppose um, is a little bit more risque. And now we seem to have acquired a dragon and a sheep. Huh. Yeah, see, we we yeah in the gig last night in uh, Cabra, we um, we had someone who obviously knew we were from Wales and bought us a sheep because we're called sheep shaggers in Wales. <laughs> you know, okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Well, they must have been at the lion's den or something <laughs> if they were bringing you inflatable sheep. <laughs> so, what, what, well, what, what are you looking for when you, when you have time to just go out to go to vintage clothing stores and bookstores and things like that? What's, what's, um, what's catching your eye? Well, I actually hate shopping. Oh, you I do? do I, I do like, I'm, a, like I'm a, a little bit of a hoarder. Yeah. And I like a, yeah, I like a bargain. I like finding something that's got a little bit of history, a yeah. bit of story, a story about it. So, um, I find all sorts of... I've actually got a little bit of a thing for luggage. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Luggage? Uh, yeah, luggage. I think yeah, luggage is, you know, like well. a lot of women, they like shoes, and, you know, a lot of boys like shoes as well. Where is he? There he is. Um, but, um, yeah, I think I'm, luggage is my thing. I like luggage and inflatable Old shoes. briefcases and crates and all oh. sorts of rubbish. So, so Rissy's going to be <laughs> on one of these episodes of Hoarders. She really <laughs> Just play Fair guitar enough. in a stack no, of cases. It's nowhere yeah. near that bad yet. And you guys will have an intervention and go through the place, try to find her behind all of her luggage. Yeah. Yeah. Like storage wars. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you guys spend a little time watching TV in the motels then on the road. We, yeah. We've been watching, actually, every time we seem to settle down for the night, hoarders does seem to be extreme hoarders. Oh, that's a depressing, seem, that's a depressing show. And yeah. that other one about... It's Groundhog Day. What's the yeah. other one? Porn, porn shop. Mm. 
porn. Pawn porn shops. Porn, 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 not porn not stars. Porn stars. No, <laughs> maybe in your room, Matt Thomas. But Many things are getting lost <laughs> in translation. That's what now. you're watching. <laughs> we need <it>? subtitles. <laughs> oh, okay, I, I apologize. Well, that's that's quite <laughs> all right. I understood what you were saying. I took unfair advantage there. All right, one more time for the Joy Formidable as they play us another song here, and then we'll turn them loose for their show at the Newport Music Hall tonight. So, how many more songs would you like from us? Because is this well, the usually last play song? play three. Oh, lovely. Okay. Well, we'll, we'll love and leave you on this one then. Thanks, guys. See yeah. You soon. Okay. Thank you very much for listening. Let's do it. Formidable. Thank you.